Oh, she loves to have in a bath. She just had a bath yesterday. A shower. It, in a bathtub? In a bathtub, yes. Yeah. We put her in the bathtub the and, shower, and we turn, turn the shower on. on. She flaps her wings and runs around. So and she likes it. Cuckoos and oz yeah. and coos and, yeah, and purrs. And, <laughs> and she goes, woohoo! <laughs> yeah, she does. She's, that's one of her favorite. Woohoo! She also tries to sing. Yeah. She tries to sing and she has definite preferences and, and macaws can't sing so it's a riot. Um, but she tries to sing and she has def they have definite preferences as to who they prefer to listen to. What does she like? Yeah. Her favorite, hands down, Josh Groban. No. Yeah, and she tries to sing. Now does that happen to be your favorite? Yeah, I like Probably Josh Groban. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like Dishwalla too, though. Dishwalla and Dishwalla is very edgy. She likes Dishwalla. Really? Yeah. Alternative rock. Yeah. They're a, they're a very mild alternative rock group. I can handle just so much of it. I I, uh -uh. I usually re request. There's a couple of songs I can handle, uh -uh. but usually I tell when them, I, play Dishwalla when I'm. <laughs> when I first bought Dishwalla, he pitched the fit. He was like, <laughs> "I am not listening to that," and I said. Just Boy. give it a chance, Alan. No. And now, he, there's a couple of CDs I won't listen to. They're too edgy. They're just noise, in my opinion. But um, now, we've got two or three that we really like. And she likes this one. She likes J.R. Richard's voice. <laughs> and she does. She tries to sing to him, too. Anybody she really likes, she'll try and sing along. Yeah. Now, Alan likes to sing. And his voice in tonal quality is very similar to Josh Groban's. And we think that's why she took oh, she took such a liking to him. Because they sound similar. And she can mimic his... No, no, no. She can't oh, mimic... She can't sing at all. She can't... It's just a kind of a... La, 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 la. La, la, la. la. <laughs> oh, in the evening when we put them to bed, she gets up on top of her cage and she dances for us. Whatever song we're singing, if it's a waltz, she's doing like a waltz. If it's a you know a jazzy tune, she's just bopping her head and they can um, perceive the beat. Absolutely. Oh, oh yeah. she's very rhythmic. Yeah, oh, she yeah. could be a dancer. <laughs> she can't she can't sing, but she could dance. Yeah. That's American Idol. Yeah. Dancing with the parents. The other day, we, I was putting her to bed, and she was doing her little dance. And for the first time, I, I was singing to her. I was singing um, when I fall in love. Right. And she's dancing up there, and she goes. <laughs> Lala! <laughs> first, first song and dance together, yeah. Yeah, And they live a long time. Right? Oh, yeah. How many? Years? A hundred years or more. Winston Churchill's oh, yeah. is still alive. No. Yeah. I think he's 106 or something like that. I was reading an article, you're going to get them. You really need to put in your will. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah you got to outlive you. Yeah, because Alan's 54, so she'll outlive him. Yeah. yeah. Only, had her, only had her 10 years, about 10 years old, so she'll outlive me for sure. Oh, yeah. You have, yeah. To, you have to be very, very... Well, for instance, we bathe them regularly, we clean their cages. I, I clean their cages thoroughly yesterday. And that's, but being out doesn't endanger them. Oh! Uh, it could if, if I... Um, I'm to other the wild birds. If, or, or if it was dusk and the mosquitoes were out because yeah. West Nile virus is a concern. Right. Yeah. yeah. And and there has been... you got to be careful of the food. Yeah. Food. yeah. Um, there's various things you have to eat. Yeah, you have to be concerned about. And their diet, um, African greys can't have... They can have a high fat diet. That's why they can eat Brazil nuts and All right. more nuts than an African grey. An African grey can't handle too much fat because they get fatty liver disease. Oh, no. So you got to be very careful about their diet. What's yeah. your all-time favorite food? Her all-time favorite food is anything. She eats, we feed them a, a, a basic diet of uh, KT Exact Rainbow, which is pelleted. Okay. And it's made up of, of things that they're deep, right. with vitamins and minerals added to it, though. Okay. They could survive very well and very healthy on KT Exact Rainbow. It's, a, it's what they call a mash diet, yeah, because it's, it's very balanced. It's, uh, what would be a treat for her? What to, to, oh, I banana chips. chips. <laughs> She dies for banana chips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's going to give her one now. You'll see what I mean. It's, oh, banana chip. She'll hold on to a banana chip like it's... And she'll eat every last crumb. She will not drop a crumb. She loves banana chips. She likes uh, hazelnuts, filberts. Of course, she loves Brazil nuts, obviously. Um, treats. What's treats? They love, they love 
They like popcorn. Air popped. Oh, popcorn. No salt, no butter. I see Mr. Blue and Gold oh, taking yeah. you for a walk today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Good. How are you? Let's push up with it. She loves she loves it when people come up and see her. She likes it, yeah. Yeah, because she's got a lot of ham in her. She's all ham. Let him, let him know about it. Yeah. yeah you see another bird? Oh, she's getting upset. Oh, she knows there's a bird. Oh, yeah, they have great crows, eyesight. Crows, vultures, and, and uh, birds of prey. She'll let them know that she's not happy with their presence. And so she's saying, you can move on, get yeah. out of here. Yeah, it's a warning, a warning. Get ready, she might really bellow out here in a second. <laughs> oh, yeah, and when they shriek, you can hear it up to two miles away, no. really loud. And she's in our house with us. <laughs> oh, my. When she really decides to shriek, the walls vibrate. <laughs> now, are you guys from here? Um, yeah, we were, were born in, in Florida, Florida. yeah. Um, I'm, I was born in Sanford, Florida. Alan was born in Dunedin. Um, and we got married 32 years ago, and um, I was just out of high school, 18, he was 22, and... Um, I only got two chips left. Oh, <laughs> she'll be all right. And, um, and we lived in Clearwater for a while, and then we moved to Palm Harbor, and then from Palm Harbor we moved to Tarpon. We had to move kind of unexpectedly. Our landlord needed his house back. And... Um, Do you love it here? Yeah, we like it. Yeah. I wish my house was bigger. <laughs> it's kind of small. Well, you're a good one to ask. I'm just, you know, we come passing through. But the difference, have you been, like, um, Venice, Cape Coral, blah, 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 down there? Uh, not me. I haven't traveled very much. Okay, what, what's the difference between, like, here and Venice? Big difference. Probably, yeah. Venice, Cape Coral, those are beach communities. Okay. They tend to be more more geared toward beach tourists. Okay. Like Marco Island, I well, think, is, is real historic. kind of Our a beach. Place is mainly historic. I got you. You know, the old historic homes, the old historic town. Okay, have you been to Daytona? Yes, I have. Just recently. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah. Wait, do, do you love Daytona? Or no. I, I, I don't. The, the main draw there is the speedway. Me too. I you totally know? agree. The entire culture is a race car. Yes. Yep. And, and plus, I don't like the whole, but here's my question, how would you compare, that's the other coast of this, uh -huh. right. right? Compared to this, it feels totally different. To it me. is. Yeah. Well, various towns have their draw. Titusville, they are Cape Canaveral, and the shuttle, space and every, right. through, everywhere you go, it's, it's right. Cape Canaveral it's space and space. Coast. Yeah, space coast. So every town's different, you know. St. Augustine is nice. Yeah. You know, I love St. Augustine. St. Augustine's I another historic town. I which to it is. It's small. I mean, the moment you're out of the the main, yeah, you know, yeah, you are nowhere. Yeah, that's true. You are. That's like Perry. Have you ever been to Perry? No. <laughs> Perry. You know, if you get on if you get on the interstate, you will see a million signs this way to Perry. Well, one day we finally got to Perry. I think you could have thrown a rock across it. <laughs> Yeah, it's some towns in Florida aren't really they just aren't very big and Something's falling. You're all right. You're all right, Morgan. I'm out of banana chips. I don't have any more. I don't have any more, I'm sorry. You're okay. She keeps kissing him because she wants a banana. You know, but Venice isn't beach town like Daytona. I wouldn't think so. I've never actually been to Venice. Okay. Have you been to Cape Coral? Been or? through it. Okay. Uh we did um I'm I'm a cabinet maker. I okay. do commercial cabinetry. And uh, at the time, I was working for a company that did post offices. Okay. And we did a couple of post offices in Cape Coral. Um, Aesthetically? Right